Guys, I have a surprise for you all. Are you ready? I want to introduce you to somebody. Okay. Come on, Clarissa. Come on. Don't be shy. Sit down. Hi, y'all. You good? Okay. Here we right. go. Hi, y'all. Bonjour. Hola. My in today's name tutorial, is if you're oh. new, I'm sorry. No, Clarissa. No. I came in too fast. Oh, you come in after okay. I'm done with this. No. Okay. You good? If you're new on this channel, welcome. In today's tutorial, I am going to, sorry. In today's tutorial, she is going to show you how to create a clone of yourself in Photoshop. So, without further ado, oh, I'm sorry. Clarissa, you wanna do it with yeah. me? Okay. It'll be fun, let's do it together. Okay. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this tutorial. In order to create this clone effect in one image of yourself, you first of all have to take multiple pictures in the same location without moving your camera. So the best way to do it is to get a tripod and you set it, you lock your camera on it, and then you can even use a timer to take the different shots. Or if you have somebody the person can be behind the camera as you move from one place to the other, those shots are taken. And what you have to do is take as many as you can and then select the best ones that you like. It can be three pictures, it can be five, it can be eight, however many you want to see yourself cloned in the same picture. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in one image. So I'm going to go for my first image and I'm going to drop it into Photoshop. And then what I want to do is overlay the rest of the images on. So using the first one as a template, I'm going to select the rest and I'm just going to drop it in. And the reason being you want everything to be in the same spot. So I'm going to double click. So Photoshop can generate every time it's bringing in one image. You need to double click to deselect. So it finishes uploading it. So once we have everything in, this is very simple to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off these images first. And then we only have the first image. So I want to bring in the other image, which is this. So what I want to do, I want to erase everything around the subject so that only the subject shows everything around disappears so that we can see the subject that was on the right hand side. So simply you can pick your quick lasso tool or your eraser. I will go for the eraser and we have our eraser. We click in Photoshop will ask you to change your layer to a smart object so it can show so it can allow you to erase. So now that we have our eraser activated, we are just going to brush on this area uh, to reveal our subject beneath. And notice that I'm not erasing around the entire image. You can do that, but you, you don't because all we are show, all that we are doing is trying to reveal the layer beneath. As long as you can see that subject, Everything else you can just ignore. So we're going to click on the next one and we're going to do the same thing. So here we see our subject right on the, we see our subject. So we wanna make sure that our subject talking to the other clone needs to show up and then our subject next to the lamp needs to show up as well. So with our layer selected, we're gonna click on our image to convert it to smart object. And we wanna erase around this side of the subject so we can begin to show up our subject right here. So I'm going to erase so we can see. So to make this much easier, I'm going to use my quick lasso tool to just draw an outline around my subject just like that. And then with my eraser tool, I'm going to erase so we can see. I'm going to press Ctrl D to deselect. If you make your eraser too big, you might end up erasing your other subject. So it's always easier if you use your quick lasso tool to just make a selection around your subject, or you can make your eraser head just a little bit smaller. 
So I'm going to click on the next layer. So here we see that our subject is in front and all the other ones are in the back. If I pull down my opacity, you can begin to, oh, I'm on the wrong layer. So I'm going to click back on the right layer. If I pull down on my opacity, you can see all the subjects in the background. So what we want to do, take this opacity all the way up and we want to cut out our subject. So this is where you want to use the quick select tool because this subject is in front of. So you just want to select the subject and hide everything in the background. So we are just going to make a quick selection. So I'm going to click on my magic one and I'm going to click on quick selection tool. We want to click on select subject with our layer selected for us. Photoshop is going to generate an outline around the subject. So if your selection is not perfect, all you have to do is zoom in and fix it. And I've done previous tutorials where I fix the areas that are not perfect in terms of selecting a subject. So with this selection, all I want to do, all you need to do is go to the bottom of your layers panel and click on the add layer max and it's going to cut out the subject. And as you can see, it's very perfect. I really don't have to do anything to this selection. If you have to, all you have to do is zoom in and do all your cutouts. So the next one that we want to bring in is the last image. And as you can see, this image, we really don't have a lot of issue because there is no overlay with any of the other subjects. So we can we can make sure we're on the right layer, use my lasso tool. And I'm just going to make a selection right in this area, just like this. And I'm going to cut out everything else. I'm just going to erase around my subject. So I'm going to pick my eraser tool, activate my I'm going to convert to smart object and I'm just going to erase just like that. So basically we want to reveal everything else. So with my eraser tool, I just erase all the other areas around my subject. I press control D to deselect. And as you can see, it's all done. It's very easy to do. It's not complicated at all. Oh, except the one for the video where you have to duplicate yourself. Now, if you want me to show you how I did that, you can comment below and I'll be glad to do that. So with that said, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Have fun creating your own clone. If you want to try with my images, you can do that as well. I will drop them. I will drop a link to all of these five images in the description below so you can use and have fun. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. Bye for now. Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name. No, Clarissa, don't speak. It's not your time yet, I'll let you know, okay? We good? All right. Yeah, I like us to do it. Yeah, I like to do it together. Okay, let's go. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this tutorial.